rather than copy the latest hits. Burton Cummings and Randy Bachman began a magical songwriting partnership. And we started writing in all different formats. It didn't matter who had the idea or whatever. We were in a way becoming Lennon and McCartney, Jagger and Richards, the guys we idolized. These eyes. Their first hit has been played on North American radio stations more than two million times. We sat down at the piano and Randy said, look, I got a little piano thing here at the start of something. Uh, what do you think of this? And he sat down and, and Randy Backman sat down and played this. And I thought that was pretty cool. Number one, for a guitar player to be playing a, a minor seventh chord on piano, I thought that was very impressive to me. And he also had the first couple lines. I think he, he sang, These eyes cry every night for you. Or that far, maybe he just sang, These eyes cry every night for you. Anyway, Randy had the thing started. And I thought, wow, that's pretty good, man. I like the piano riff. And he, you know, show me that, and he taught me, and I learned how to play it. But that was as far as he had gotten. So I said, well, maybe we should go down to A minor. I don't know, it just, we started trading little pieces here and there, and we had the thing built in about 25 minutes. It was done. The heavens on me, yeah. I will never be free, no, no, no. It was never work for Randy and me, and I don't think we ever really slaved over any song. Laughing was about 20 minutes, 25 minutes. We were sitting on our old highway bus waiting for the ferry to take us over to Vancouver Island from Vancouver. And he had that acoustic guitar again, and he started playing, and I started singing, and it was done. It took me by A string of unforgettable songs put the Guess Who firmly in music's major league.